Hi, how you doing? My name is Ryan Coote. I am talking to you from Kerry on the west coast of Ireland, a great wave riding spot. I am here today just to give you an intro and an introductory to uh, two products from JSTOR. Uh, we have the XX, the wave riding harness, and the all-rounder freerider XT harness. Both these harnesses come with the same Dynabar configuration as standard, which is the sliding pivot hook, okay? So this harness, is, or this setup is, has got great advantages for uh, people who are into wave riding because of obviously the ability to slide the harness hook from side from hip to hip and also when a gust comes through it can release a lot of the wind by sliding from side to side. So this is the XT harness, this is the free ride freestyler harness uh, by JSTOR. We have our freestyle um, leash attachment on the back here which has got a quick release on it, a quick release pin. Uh, we have our our safety hook as well. We've got two positions for the safety hook. We've got one here. We also have one in here as well if you want to. Uh, it only actually comes with one hook, but you can put it in either places. Um, inside the harness, we have loads of flotation, so good for uh, wipeouts. It gets you back up to the surface nice and quickly. Inside, we've got a really nice uh, ergonomical uh, finish to the to the inside of the harness, which gives you plenty of flows and plenty of grip on your on your wetsuit. And we also have in here, which is um, unique to the to the J harnesses, we've got um, we've got these uh, battens that give you uh, extra support, and so you can you can put in different uh, flexibility battens. So in each harness has got three different battens, so you can have two battens in, you can have one batten in. Some battens are stiff. Inside here, there's two other hard, two other battens that are just attached onto this red. You can see these ones are very, very flexible, and uh, these ones are a lot more, a um, lot more stiff. So you can have two flexible, one stiff, or one flexible, two stiff, whichever way you want to set up your harness. On the on the front here, uh, we have um, really, really strong Velcro that comes across, and then we have fixed down bands as well, which come across and hold on to the harness as well. We also have the the XX harness, which has all the same features. It has the quick release. On the on the freestyle uh, leash attachment point, we have our we haven't got a uh, a knife hook on top up here. We have the knife hook which is inside in here with the with the battens. We have the same battens, same batten attachments in here. We have a flexible batten and we have stiff battens as well, which can go inside here. Um, Inside we don't have the same neoprene, okay, so we haven't got the same neoprene in here, but we've got a, a very uh, good shaped uh, back support area for the for the um, for the harness to sit nicely into the lower back and to be snug in there, um, which which holds the harness into, into a nice position. So this is the, the Dyna bar with a pad included. Uh, it's the standard um, swivel and uh, uh, sl standard sliding and uh, swivel hook. We also have here we have the naked Dyna bar. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach on the freestyle hook. Let's say your standard hook that most people would be used to. So it's very simply just slot it into the two holes and two 13 mil two 13 mil um, uh, nuts just tightens up on the back of it. Very quick, very easy. And now you have your, your standard harness setup which uh, freestylers will use when they're doing um, big jumps, kite loops, being able to hook in and unhook very easily. And, and this is your standard setup and is available with the, with the dyno bar and the J harnesses. So the freestylers will use the, um, the, the fixed hook if you're not into unhooking or hooking, uh, if you're not into unhooking, we also have the fixed loop. So the fixed loop is the same. It's uh, just attached by two 13 mil bolts into the same hole and tightened up behind it. And once you hook into this, then there's there's no unhooking or hooking back in. All, the only way to get out is to use your quick release.
So we also have another configuration on the dyno bar, which is the steel uh, slider. We have the pivot hook in the center still. We have the bungee uh, returning the, the hook back to the center each time. And this predominantly with this slider is gonna predominantly stay in the center because of this little uh, hump on the actual steel slider. But if you turn your hips to the side, it will slide the hook over to the right or over to the left, depending on which side you wanna to go to. So a lot of freestylers will use this, uh, snow kiters will use it, and uh, buggiers will use it as well for ability to have the hook predominantly in the center and then just to move it from side to side as you need to. So this is the first of the, the fixed um, uh, steel sliders. And we also have the faster of the two sliders, which doesn't have any of the, the bump in the center. It can just free, freely slide from side to side. The hook, the pivot hook will always orientate to the center, but it's got more movement from left to right and it's gonna be faster transition from side to side. There are a few slight bumps in it that will hold the hook in place if you wanna stop, but predominantly it's gonna be a faster slider from side to side. So you're gonna be able to do more uh, left to right action with your board or um, with your hips if you need to. So the fastest of all the settings, the freest movement and the, the fastest sliding is the Dyneema line. And uh, Dyneema line is about 13, 14 inches long. It has a knot on one end and a loop on the other end. We feed the, the line through the dyno bar and it has these protective, uh, protective uh, plastic um, shields on it there. We slide it through, we make sure we go through the sliding hook and we're gonna attach on our leash ring as well. And we're gonna pass it through the, the protective ring on the other end. And then what we also have here is we have a quick release off this. So we have a, a pin that can go through that can uh, quick release the, the hook if needed. This is normally attached onto the, onto the dyno bar. So we'll attach this on here. the little loop at the end of the Dyneema line on there and it's a fixed one. So now this is the fastest setting that the Dynabar has to offer. It's the quickest and it's the freest movement from side to side but you do get quite a lot of up pull from it and down pull but what that gives you an advantage of is in a gust as the gust comes through it will automatically spill the wind and slide to your hip and uh, makes it a lot more comfortable and a lot more easy on your back. This is the, the sliding hook on the Dyneema line. This is my personal preference. I've been using it for about two to three years now. And I think it's the most amazing system for wave riding. A lot of the top wave riders in the world are using this system now or a variation of it. Uh, I definitely wish I'd had this system at the very start of my wave riding career. Uh, it would have helped with a lot of situations that I would have gotten myself in and out of. Um, I love it. I think it's, it's, it's a must for anyone who wants to spend time in waves or wave riding. So this year, uh, Jay Store has come up with a integrated um, uh, seat harness in shorts. So the dyno bar is attached onto the leg straps, which are internally in the shorts. So they hide away any sort of aspect of the, the bulkiness of the of the leg straps. So the leg straps are in are built into the actual shorts, um, and the the pad is attached onto the onto the shorts through these straps and have pull down strings on the inside in here. This gives the, the harness a lot more support and this goes these straps go back to your connection points on your actual harness here. So it keeps the harness very centered, it keeps the pad very centered on your body. And for anyone who suffers from any sort of back pain or back strain, this is the, the setup to, to really neutralize the movement of the of the actual dyno bar or the pad itself on the on the harness. So this is a new system for JSTOR this year. 